It's been a long season. We've had to fight to keep our job on more than one occasion. But can we finish off season one with a couple of wins against top of the table Hereford and mid table Altrinham in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number seven of the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. Two games today for you guys to finish off this season. Top of the table, Hereford, mid-table, Altrinham. Going to be bringing them to you in just a minute. But before that, I suppose I better catch you up on how we've been getting on since you was last with me for the Geisley and the Southport games. You can see there, if you've not seen the last video, we did draw against Geisley 0-0 and then we beat Southport 4-0. Very nice performance there. Probably our best performance of the season. Spyride, Swain, Marriott and Carey with the goals there. Carey on his debut after being called up from the under-23s team. So that was very nice to see. And then we followed that up with another victory. 2-1 against York. They took the lead. But Sonny Carey getting his second goal in two games for the club. Equalised. And Alfie Payne, the loanee from Norwich, grabbing us to win. And it seemed to be a bit of a theme. Players scoring two games in a row. Because Alfie Payne did it again. And around the same sort of time as well. Because he scored in the 78th minute to win us that particular football game after Michael Cloonan had given us the lead and then Donovan Macoma had equalised for Gateshead. So that was another nice performance. And then we had a third 2-1 game in a row, but this time it went against us. Ryan Jarvis giving us the lead very early on, but then Sam Avery equalising with under 10 minutes left to go. And then Jenison Myrie Williams nicking the winner in the 81st minute to break the hearts of all 510 Kingsland fans inside the walks. But we did bounce back in the next game with another win. 3-1 against Chester. Odyssey's spy rides with the goal. 10 minutes in and in the 58th minute he doubled his tally for the day. And Adam Marriott got us the other one for the win. So that was a very nice performance. 3-1. Akwazi Asante, I've probably just butchered that. But he got their other goal, their consolation. We was already 3-0 up at that point and never looked in any danger of giving the game away. But a game there was no danger in. This one against Brackley. 2-0 defeat. Don't know what happened to us. We just don't seem to like playing away that much, I think. And so, yeah, it was a very disappointing result. We never showed up. We was never in the game. James Armson and Dylan with the goals for them, which takes us to where we are now. And where we are now is 12th in the league. Exactly mid-table. And we need to get at least mid-table for the board to be happy with us. But I should imagine if we do man manage to finish 13th, we should be okay. Surely the board won't sack us just for finishing one place below where they want us to. So that is the deal for today. Hereford top of the table. Altrinham 14th. So that, that last game could be a big one, depending on what happens today. And one little bit of transfer news that I've already done for next season, in case I am here, is this guy here, David M. Barla. I've not got him properly scouted, but what I have got scouted of him, my scouts really, really like. And I know he's someone who I've seen a few other people have picked up. I have mentioned him before to a few people. And so it's David M. Barla. He plays for Congleton. I think they're the league below where we are. So they're not exactly in the game at the minute. But my scouts say that he is League 2 quality. So we've brought him in for next season. We're paying him £650, £675 a week. Something like that next season. So he's coming in as our top earner. So he needs to be really, really special next year. 
little bit of a gamble I'm taking on him. But I'm confident that he is going to pay off and that he will be a decent signing for us. Let's go and crack on with today's game. We're going with this 4-3-1-2. Burn in goal. Swain, Fryer, Smith, Jones as the back four. Payne as a deep line playmaker, alongside a box to box midfielder, the captain Clunan, and Jarvis just playing as your regular central midfielder. And then we've got the new guy, Sonny Carey, as a shadow striker, just behind Odyssey Spyrides and Adam Marriott up top for the game against top of the table Hereford. Can we get a win? I'm strangely confident. I'm going to go 1 0. I think we're going to nick this, even though Hereford are in fantastic form at the minute. Unbeaten in five. They're 1-3 to three on to win the game. And yeah, we're 7-1. to one. Not the best odds, but you never know. Weirder things have happened in football. Here we are. Here's the lineups. Hereford just going for your bog standard 4-4-2. Hall in goal. Adebisi Romanski. Kulian Libbard, no idea. Kelly Evans as the back four. Landolo, Owen Evans, Dawson and Bray as their midfield. And Brown and Stice as their front two up top. So hopefully going 4-4-2, we might be able to get at them in the middle of the pitch and create some damage there. And now as far as the team talk, I'm going to go assertive. Uh, what should I say? We owe Hereford after what happened in the last game. That's got most of them motivated. So that is where we're going to do it, lads. Come on. 1-0 win. That's what I'm wanting. First highlight of the game. Six minutes in. It's us with the ball. Marriott plays it through to Spy Rides. Can he find a teammate? Goes back to Swain. And Swain with it. Can he find anybody? He's just going for a little stroll here. Gone to Payne. Into Clunan. Into Carey in space. Spy rides, I and mean, he plays the ball, but Evans clears it. And that was Ronnie Stice. Brown gets it off his pass. Now, can we please win this ball back? Kelly Evans is coming into our box. He crosses it in. We head it away. Dawson heads it back in. And now Spy rides is going to pick the ball up. And can he play it? He does. And it goes to Carey, who was, who was on side. He's into the box. And Carey, he's done it again. He's done it again. 1-0 to the Kings Lynn boys. And it's the new guy who's becoming quickly one of my favourite players in this team. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Spy rides on space, chested the ball down, played it over the top. Carey somehow like... Just morphed himself through the defender, got onto the ball, and we are 1 0 up against a team top of the league. Now, 15 minutes in, Hereford again clearing the ball, but we win it back. Payne with it, goes to Swain over the top again. Carey's in again, and he's gone for the shot, but this time Hall has saved it. And they clear it away, and we are all over this team at the minute. Brown plays the ball to the other wing, but Payne. Intercepts the under hit pass. 10 minutes into the second half, we've got the ball going forward. Spy rides with it now. Plays it through to Mario, who's on the edge of the box. And one on ones have been fixed. I've seen them scored, but apparently Mario hasn't. But immediately after, we're going again. Jarvis with the ball to Clunan. Plays it inside to Alfie Payne. And he goes long. And now Marriott's got the ball again. He's a bit more central now. He's gone for the shot. But Hall with the decent save. And it goes out for a corner kick. And who's it going to be to take it? It is going to be Marriott. He's going to swing it in. And goes to absolutely nobody in a blue shirt. Fryer plays it into Carey. Who's in space. Payne to Carey. He goes for a shot. But it's blocked there. But we win it back on the halfway line. And being a nice sportsman like people we are, we give them the ball back. Well, that's half time, lads. Not a whole lot of excitement in that first half. But we are winning the game, which is what I want, obviously. We've had 13 shots to their three. Four on target to their one. And 52% of the ball. So, for a team top of the league and still trying to win the league, I think. We're doing very, very well against them. 
So I'm going to go assertive. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Just the one lad motivated there. And let's go for the old George Michael. And it's worked on a few of them. Let's get into the second half. Clunan with a free kick. Payne with the header. And that is saved and goes out for a corner ball. We are five minutes into the second half here. Marriott crossing it in. Brown heads it away. We need a better corner taker, I think. Carey wins it back. And can he cross it in? He tries to, but he overhits it. And goes to absolutely nobody. Just hitting the hour mark now. Just making the one change. Aaron Jones is on a 6.0 rating for the game. So I've taken him off for George Brown. And that's going to be the only change for the minute. Going to see how we get on for the next 10 minutes. Before possibly making another one. 20 minutes left in the game. We've got the ball. Clunan gets it off the goal kick. Goes back to Swain. And he plays it long. To a man in white. Because that's obviously what you want. Adebisi coming forward with it for Hereford. He's got a bit of space here. And wow. Non-league football there for you lads. Not the best football you're ever going to see. Okay, 15 minutes left. Just making one more change. Harry Lim, the youngster, coming on for Adam Marriott. Just to see what he can do. See if he can nick us a second goal. Just to absolutely wrap this game up. Oh, a minute left in the game. Hereford have got a corner. And they've had a header which has been cleared off the line. Oh. Hereford somehow almost getting themselves an equaliser there. But now Lim with the cross for us. Goes over Kerry's head. Much like most of my jokes when I'm talking to me misses. And now a Brown on the counter for Hereford. But I think he was offside. And that should be the final whistle. I think we're just waiting for my man here to kick the ball. So if he would like to hurry up, that would be quite delightful. Don't know what we're waiting for here, boys. There we go. That was worth waiting for, wasn't it? But that is the full-time whistle. We have won that game of football. 1-0, like I predicted. Just call me Mystic Bad Jokes. And then let's have a look at the stats. 24 shots we had to their 10. 10 on target to their 3. 53% of their possession. We definitely deserve to win that game of football. We was the better team. And let's go and tell the lads that. That was special lads. Nobody gave us a chance. And look at that reaction. Now, let's just go and have a look. See where we are in the league. And then we will be back with you for the last game of the season against Altrinham. So now that puts us up into 11th on 55 points. We could still get 10th with a win against Altrinham. Let's have a quick look at the club vision. We're on B- minus for the manager performance. So absolutely no chance of losing our job. We should be here for next season. So that is a big, big relief. And yep, guys, I'll be back with you guys in just a second for the game against Altrinham. All right, guys, we're back. It's time for the game against Altrinham. We're going for the same team. I was a little bit tempted to drop Spy Rides because he had a training rating this week of 4.85, which is one of the lowest I've ever seen. But it's the last game of the season. I'm going to stick him in, see what he does. And then see how he trains over the summer. Might just have been a bad week. You never know. So let's just hope he can he can do better during the game. And he can put things right. Altrinham are going with a 5-2-1-2 for this game today. Patterson, Jones and Hannigan as their back three. Hampson and Densmore on the wings. Malt and Richmond in the middle. Hancock just behind Holm and Johnston. So they're trying to get at us down the wings. Hopefully we can put them off that and we can put in a similar performance to what we did against Hereford. Let's go passionate. Uh, this is a great opportunity to show all the pundits. They've been right to back you up. Yep, correct answer. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner, people. 
And what am I going to predict for this one? 2 0 win. 2 0 win for us, I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah. No highlights in that first half. Absolutely nada. Not quite sure what's occurring. But for what it's worth, we've apparently had eight shots to their two, but neither side have had any on target in the first half. And so I'm not quite sure what to say because I've not seen anything. Uh, pff, I'm not happy with your performance. There we go. Let's, let's just double check. Can I double check that we have just got this on actual highlights, please? Yeah. No idea what happened in that first half, people. Absolutely none. All right, guys. 65 minutes in. Still no highlights. We've just made a couple of little tweaks to the tactic. And we've brought on Harry Lim in place of spy rides. We've gone for a higher defensive line and a much higher line of engagement. As you can see here. And we've gone for more direct passing. And we've gone to distribute the ball right over the opposition defence. When the goalie's got the ball. So I really hope we get to see something before the end of the game. Still nothing to show you boys. I'm making more changes just to try and get something to happen. Payne has gone on to advanced playmaker as attack. Jordan Richards has come on in place of Jarvis as a central midfielder on attack. And Lim has been changed to a pressing forward again on attack. And we've gone very attacking. I want a highlight please. Finally, 76 minutes into the game, it looks like something is going to happen. Hampson with the ball. Can we win it back off him please? No. We go back to Patterson, or they go back to Patterson, sorry. Smith to Payne now, to Clunan. He tries to play it through, but their midfielder gets it. Patterson again, back to Hampson. He goes long, and Hancock's in. Ultranum are in behind here. And we are defended here with a brilliant last-ditch tackle. For all the world, it looked like we was going to go behind. And well, finally, this game has woken up. Clunan with the ball, crosses it, goes to Richards, takes a deflection. Aaron Jones, with only his second of the season, gets us the lead. And it's 1-0 to the Kingsland boys. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Marriott to Clunan. Richards' is shot, hit the defender, fell for Jones, and he, Stephen Gerrarded it into the net. Oh, four minutes left of the game. We're still on very attacking. Altrinham are coming forward with the ball, but their cross falls into our keeper's hands rather nicely. And now, could we get a second one so I can get two predictions right in the same episode? Lim is in behind the defence here. He's gone for the shot. And just over the bar. There is the final whistle. The season is over. We finished it with two 1-0 wins in a row. In this game, we've had 18 shots to their nine. Only the two shots on target, though. That's a little bit worrying going forward to next season. 54% of the possession. And so, another decent win. Wasn't the most exciting of football games. But I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go, we got away with that today actually. And most of them are fired up. I will take that as a last team talk of the season. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look, see where we finished up in the league. And then we're going to leave it there for today. But tomorrow's episode is going to be a end of season review. We're going to do a deep dive into the season. We're going to get into all the analytics, all the stats. I'll show you who won what in the end of year awards. Might even go through all the top leagues around Europe. If that's something that some of you would like to see. So if there is anything you want to see in the end of season review. Please do let me know in the comment section down below. I've not really done any end of season videos before, so this is a new thing for me. So I want to know what you people would like to see in a video like that. So please do, like I say, let me know down in the comments or on Twitter or on the Passion for FM Discord. Let me know in any of them, please people. And so we finished the season in 10th 
I'm quite happy with that. I know Kings Lynn in real life are flying in real life and they're top of the league as of this weekend. Come on, you Linnets. But I think 10th for a team that's only just been promoted is a decent result. It's a decent way to end the season. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. Pro Evo is coming back at some point this week. Probably Wednesday, I'm thinking, right now. So that will be back at some point this week. Subscribe for that as well. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And join the Passion for FM website and the Discord and the Twitter page and the Facebook page. All the links down below. Seriously, the website is very, very good. There's some very good downloads that you can get off the Passion for FM website. So go and check them out. And yep, guys, that is all for today. I shall be back with you boys tomorrow with the end of season review. Bye.